Um, we'll just start at the start at the top. What are what are you working on for the the expansion draft in 2021? Hey Chris, good to be with you here today, and uh, and I guess I think that maybe if I may uh, correct you a little bit, what what aren't we working on is a better <laughs> question. Uh, lots of, lots of ball juggling in the air right now, and uh, but it's all exciting. Obviously, excited to be the 32nd franchise in the National Hockey League. So we're working on a number of different things. Uh, particularly, we're thinking about our players in the expansion draft and trying to make it as uh, uh, making their transition to relocating to Seattle as painless and and, and possible. Um, and so that's, that's kind of one of the many things that we're working on as well. Because you could have a shortened time frame for the 21-22 season just based on everything that's happened with COVID, correct? Oh, certainly. I mean, again, as we know, we don't know. The, the Tampa Bay Lightning just hoisted the Stanley Cup here a couple of days ago this week. And uh, given that it's uh, October 1st, and normally we would be getting ready for the 20, opening of the 2021 season, so there's a lot of uh, question marks uh, to when the uh, start of the, the ca new campaign is going to begin. You know, there's speculation it might be in January, it might be December, it might be February, March. Who knows? Nobody knows. And uh, that's obviously going to delay then when uh, we're going to have the expansion draft, which as of now is scheduled uh, for June of 2021. And uh, right after that, we'll have the entry draft. But again, that's all subject to when the 2021 season begins. So that might backdate things, and, and then we're going to have to prepare getting ready for our inaugural season uh, in September, October, whenever that may be. Which means that new players will have a condensed timeline to relocate to Seattle, correct? That's right. That's right. So it, in the normal circumstances, in the normal circumstances, if uh, June was going to be the expansion draft and the entry draft and free agency uh, beginning on July 1st, then the transition would, then would be the new season would begin then in uh, September training camp would begin September of 21 and then opening night would be sometime in early October. Um, but if it is any delay where we get into July, there's going to be a very quick turnaround potentially because you got the Olympics, as you know, in, in uh, 2022 uh, during our inaugural season. So there's lots of different things we're trying to uh, forecast and have, uh, you know, different plans, uh, but we're going to be ready regardless to help, uh, help the transition for our players and their families. So you're putting together a, a, a book of some sorts. What's, uh, what's that all entail for these, these potential new players and their families? That's right. It's not only for the players, but it's for the coaches and the training staff and other staff members that are going to make in the trek out to the great Northwest. And, uh, you know, again, we're going to have all we think is going to be use, useful information for them uh, anywhere from the, t uh, any worship areas in the, in the areas, uh, potential living accommodations, uh, moving companies, uh, you know, in terms of using our great partner in Alaska Airlines in terms of their uh, airline travel to, uh, to the Northwest, take a look at potential uh, living locations, as well as uh, when they make the official final move out there, out to Seattle. Uh, in addition, they will we'll have um, information on daycare and dry cleaning and the post office and all those things that uh, you know that's involved in a in a uh, in a move and especially of this nature in a short period of time we're also going to have information uh, on schools and when enrollment uh, situations and what they need to do all those details that's important for families again to make that adjustment as, as uh, painless and seamless as possible yeah i really short shorted the numbers there i mean it, yeah it's the it's the staff it's the the coaches it's the players it's the the families. I mean, how many how many people are we talking about here and their extended families? Well, we're probably talking about uh, I'd say maybe 50 staff members total. With if you talk, count the players, 23, and you add another 17 to 25 uh, staff members with the coaches and the assistant coaches and the trainers and and, and the strength conditioning coaches, etc. So there's many people. Then you know, if they have a wife, girlfriend, husband, whatever, there's and families. There's, there's many bodies that are be moving to the great Northwest and added to the population and, and uh, experiencing everything that uh, Seattle and the state of Washington has to offer. And, and traditionally, uh, players, coaches, staff, they, they like to be close to uh, where they would go on a daily basis versus necessarily right next to the arena. Uh, they also like to go near airports where they would have to fly out a, so when you take that into consideration, I mean, this, this package of information you're putting together, it's not just about South Lake Union and, and the area near Seattle Center. It's about the, the, the neighborhoods uh, in other spots of the region, correct? That's right. We're talking again, we're at, up at Northgate where our practice facility and training, our world-class uh, training facility will be located. 
some players like to be close there because they spend a good majority of their time in terms of practice time, game day, skates may be uh, held there. And, um, and then again, depending on where our, we've been talking with different uh, uh, airlines and charter companies in terms of what, what best suits our needs for that. And then in terms of the airport locations, it might be at SeaTac, it might be in Everett. Uh, so we're looking at exploring all those different options. And so we want to make sure that we provide all this uh, relevant information to our players and their families and staff members so then they can make the best decisions for them in terms of where they're going to reside in, in the greater Seattle area. So to your point, I mean, the, a lot of the Seahawks players, for instance, uh, live closer to the Virginia Mason Athletic Center, the VMAC in Renton or based on the east side because that's where they're going on a daily basis versus – uh, going near the stadium. So if we follow that logic this time around, you know, North Seattle could be a, a hot real estate market uh, based on the training facility and the team headquarters uh, there in Northgate. That's right. And you mentioned one of our great partners as well, Virginia Mason. And, uh, you know, we're going to provide that information in terms of uh, family health needs and, and whatever they need from a medical standpoint. So certainly, you know, again, every player is different in terms of their situation. Uh, you know, some players uh, that may not have families or um, younger families might want to live downtown and, and be in that area where it's a little bit, you know, a lot of stuff's going on and different things. Some others like a little bit more where it's uh, closer and more convenience sakes uh, in terms of uh, their daily uh, routine and going to work. I mean, you started working on this uh, when you first started with the franchise about a year ago. So this was this was pre-COVID, but I can only imagine that it, that based on COVID and based on the condensed timeline, it became more of a priority to put all this information together for for future staffers and players and coaches. Certainly, the time the timeline has changed. We believe. I mean, we don't have anything uh, you know from committed uh, from the league and written in stone, if you will. Um, so our projection was we we're going to have. Uh, you know, season 2021, and then we get into the expansion draft was we're scheduled. And still, as of now, until we hear different from the league, we're planning on the, the expansion draft and the entry draft to, to be our first ones will be in 2021, in June. Um, but trying to read the tea leaves and see and kind of speculating where it could possibly be. We also are making sure we have backup plans. So in the event that the season, uh, you know, the expansion draft does take place in July or August, and whenever time frame the season is going to begin the following season, our inaugural re our year, whether that's in September, October, November, we're going to be ready. We just want to make sure we make that transition. So once we announce our players, inform them that they're going to be a proud member of the Seattle Kraken organization, that we're going to make it as painless as possible, seamless as possible.